This is the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. Next up on the CBS Evening News, stop you cold. That's what this high-tech gadget will do if you miss your car payment. How does it work? Stay tuned. In a sluggish economy with jobs hard to come by, it's not surprising that many Americans are falling behind on their bills. But some car dealers are starting to use a new system that forces customers to make their car payments or else. Call it the ultimate in cruise control. CBS's Bob McNamara has the story. In the used car ghetto of Main Street, USA, dealers say the best idea since buying on time is a gadget that shuts down a car's engine if the car payment is overdue. Keeps them honest, yeah. Keeps honest people honest. Dealer Randy Rapps had dozens of the devices installed on cars. He's floated the loans, and it saved him thousands. My repossession rate on cars has gone from about 100 cars a year to 30. Cheryl Owens delivers newspapers in a van she's buying from Randy Rapp. Right now it's flashing green, uh, but on the 5th, when my payment's due, it'll turn red. Owens says the device is bad news for people usually slow at making car payments. They can't be slow no more. <laughs> Each device is a mini computer programmed to electronically shut down the car engine the day after a car payment becomes overdue. And in his office, Randy Rapp can track loans that are paid up and which cars are now disabled. Car consumer watchdog Jack Gillis says a car-killing device smacks of Big Brother watching. Why don't they give the folks a call and indicate what the situation is rather than shut their vehicle off? The makers of the engine kill switch say cars won't shut down while running in traffic and that drivers won't be left stranded. They can't push in a, uh, an emergency code that lasts for 24 hours to get them back to their home, to get them to the hospital, to get them back to the finance company so they can make their payment. Used car dealers who carry customer loans like to say they don't have to go to Las Vegas to gamble. They do it every day. And now they have a gadget that lessens the odds of losing even more. Bob McNamara, CBS News, Arlington, Texas.